So I'm here today to share with you guys a product that I've been kind of obsessed with lately. Summer is coming, we are having warmer weather. I do live in California, so it's usually uh, pretty warm on the daily. Um, but again, summer is coming, um, weather's for Sahita. The product that I'm going to share with you guys are these Stila Convertible Colors. And they're super, super sleek. I love the packaging. Um, this is a cream color, so it doubles as a cream blush or a cream lip color. Um, I have five of them here, and then I do have my eye on a few other colors that I want to purchase. Let me start off by saying I have not tried many products from Stila. I do have a few of their products, and then I recently just discovered these. I know that they've been on the market for a very long time. Um, I was never a fan of cream blushes, so I did not really gravitate towards them. Um, but when I did discover them, I became obsessed, obviously, and I have five of them. So what this is, let me put these down. It is a cream colored blush slash lip color. You can use it as both. Um, and it is super, super silky. All the packages have a mirror on one side and then the cream on the other. Um, you get 0 0.15 ounces in each product. And I believe all of the colors are kind of named, um, I don't know. I wanna say flowers, but I know that they're obviously not all flowers. Um, this one that I have in my hand is in the shade Fuchsia. The packaging, they're all kind of this like metallic, really, really pretty packaging. Again, I love how sleek and thin it is. You could throw it in your bag. Um, with this product, it's super versatile. You can use it on your lips, you can use it on your cheeks, you can apply it with a brush, you can apply it with your fingers. Um, the heat of your fingers, um, you're able to pack on more color. If you use a brush, you're kind of going to share it out a little bit more. I did pack it on kind of heavy today just so you guys can hopefully see that color that I have going on my cheeks. The color that I'm wearing today is Gerbera, which is this really, really pretty, um, very neutral peachy shade. So I'm going to go through each shade and share with you guys. Um, I'm also going to pull up the website and read their description of the product. So give me one second here. So there are a total of 10 shades in the collection. Again, I have five of them, so I have about half. And then there are a few colors that I really want to grab, and then a few colors um, I'm just not really interested in. So let me see. I'm going to read on the website what they uh, kind of describe this product as. So it's a lipstick and blush in one. Um, let me see. It says this versatile favorite brightens cheeks and lips with creamy translucent color. Tap onto the cheeks and press onto the lips. The sheer tint adds an inherent glow to the cheeks while lips bloom with fresh radiant color. And it is um, the winner of InStyle's Best Cream Blush for quite a few years. It won the latest uh, 2013, 2014, 2012, 2011, and it goes back all the way to 2005. Um, again, it's 0 0.15 ounces in each product. So this product retails for $25. I did purchase this at my work. I do work at Planet Beauty. I know I've mentioned this before. We do carry Stila, which is where I obviously discovered these beauties. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and swatch each color and go through the shades that I have. So the first one is Gerbera, which I have on my cheeks. And I'm going to swatch them pretty intensely so you can really see that color. So this first one here is Gerbera. My lights might be a little bright. There it goes. The next shade that I have is Lilium. And this is just a, a little bit more of a mauve but still very neutral shade. And that is right next to Gerbera. It's a little bit more on the pink. Gerbera is a little bit more on the peach shade or peach side. Hopefully I'm able to there it goes. So that is Gerbera, and this one is Lilium. The next shade I have is Peony. And I can't tell you how obsessed I am with this packaging. And it's a little bit of a darker shade, but it's still pretty neutral. Sorry if you guys are sick of seeing me in black. I literally have work. Um, I have to leave here in a few minutes, but I wanted to pop this baby out for you. Okay, and this one here is Peony. The next shade is Petunia, which is probably going to be one of my favorite summer shades. It is a beautiful, beautiful, bright kind of coral. 
I uh, love this shade. It is really gloomy out today. I feel like it's gloomy every single time I want to film. In days that I don't have time, it is like ridiculously sunny out. Um, but this shade is beautiful. Ignore these lip liner swatches on my hand. I was trying to figure out what lip liner to wear today. So this one is Petunia. And this is probably going to be one of my favorite summer shades. I don't think my camera is doing the shade justice. That's Petunia. And the last one that I have is Fuchsia, which is obviously a very, very bright, bright pink. You could definitely share it out. Don't be afraid of these. Uh, but since they are cream blushes, any type of brighter shade especially is going to come out definitely a lot more natural. Or you can definitely share it out to be more natural, um, more so than a powder blush. So this one is Fuchsia. Um, the thing I do like about cream blushes as well is I feel like you can definitely layer them. Um, you can use a cream blush as a base. I've used that many times before. Um, if I want to really use a powder blush, use the cream to kind of intensify the color, similar to the way you would put um, a cream kind of base on your lid and then apply a powder eyeshadow. I definitely do that with these as well. I apply the cream as my base, kind of really apply it sheer to create that canvas of color. And then I will go ahead and layer on top with a powder product and it's gonna really intensify that blush um, but I've been using these for everyday wear just for a nice sheer color again you get that really really pretty dewy kind of look on your cheeks um, again hopefully you guys can see that and I just think they're an amazing product they are a little pricey at $25 each um, but in my opinion they are totally totally worth it like I said there are a few shades I still want to get my hands on um, but overall, I just, I think this is an amazing product. I do have a few other cream blushes. I know you guys have seen in other hauls. I have a few Revlon cream blushes. Um, I do have a few e.l.f. cream blushes. Um, but I would say as of right now, compared to some of the other cream blushes that I have, these are my absolute favorite. They're so creamy. They're super easy to blend. I do love my Revlon and my e.l.f. Um, the e.l.f. ones are extremely pigmented. You really have to be very careful with those. Um, to try and share those out um, and then with my Revlon ones the color is beautiful but I feel like you kind of have to pack on the cream to really get the pigmentation on the Revlon ones with these it's a one swap I literally if I do apply it with my fingers I use two fingers pat it into uh, the product and then just literally apply it upwards into my cheekbones um, and then again if you want more of a sheer color you definitely can use a brush let me show you the type of brush that I use I know I featured a brush in my um, favorites video because I did feature one of these my favorites, but I wanted to do a video of the product all on its own. So the brush that I use is the e.l.f. Small Stippling Brush. I like that it is small and I can really kind of apply where I want the product and then buff it out. Um, if you do use a larger brush, you might apply a little bit too much product. Um, the let me see what other brush. Yeah, I guess that's the only brush I would really use for it besides my fingers. Um, but again, if you have not gotten a chance, I highly recommend you check out these. Oh, I highly recommend you check out these blushes. They are totally, totally worth it to me. One more time. Here is the color swatching. Hopefully I can get a better color there. Like I said, I know my lights are a little bright, but if I turn it off, they're a little dark. Let me try to turn on the lights to see if the natural light will grab the color properly. Oopsie, washes out. Too dark now. There we go. <laughs> um, so that is kind of my rate video on these Stila Convertible Colors. Get your hands on them, run out, go to Sephora, test them out. If you're near Planet Beauty, go to Planet Beauty, test them out. I absolutely, absolutely love these. I love the glow that it gives me. Um, I don't have anything bad to say about these. So, thanks for watching. Um, let me know in the comments below if you guys have tried this product before. Um, if you've run out to go grab the product and you really like it, um, go ahead, please let me know. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. Until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye.